it's like it is like tattoo? he's a very no no you're thinking of frank hassel his oh my tattoo. god you're right you're right yeah have you seen frank hassel's tattoo who here knows what no. frank hassel had, has on his back just me and taylor all right woody yeah there was a while back where i sent wild. a text i sent this text in our group chat and it's a it's a tattoo called jesus christ it's a jesus it's jesus himself there are two clones of jesus <laughs> and so jesus, jesus is f***ing christ <laughs> yeah, right, right. And, Makes sense. and woody was like a little offensive woody was like damn a little bit i usually i'm usually not the one to get offended <laughs> about shit but like that's a bit much <laughs> 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 then you look at frank hassel's back tattoo and you're like oh, no nah, that other thing was fine is. oh my gosh it is the this is a tattoo this is it, permanent it genuinely yes. offends me <laughs> <laughs> it is like, uh the twin towers with people jumping out um and the, this is frank hassel's tattoo yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a link in the description so you can see it i don't feel like we okay. can show this one one guy and he's front and oh, center no. his head's no a couple guys have lost their head on the way down i don't know why <laughs> oh that my happened. god yeah there's an airplane flying into the second tower <laughs> and it, it says 911 i think you need to be clear that like this is not like a detailed tattoo this is like a child's crayon drawing he clearly drew it himself or, or like let someone design <laughs> yes. it for 50 dollars yeah <laughs> it's um it's as big as his whole back though it goes from the top of his shoulders to you know, just above his ass crack, and and as wide as he is, and he's a big dude, or at least his and back. And the building does not look like a building; it's just like a bunch of. <laughs> yeah. It's a, a five year old terribly rendition. drawn rectangle. With a bunch of it's lines like it's it's it. like shitting on nine eleven in like three ways. Where yeah. It's like <laughs> just just disrespectfully showing it, and so badly done with like you know what it needs though. Like, if you, it, it should say like never forget. You know, like should, there should be something oh, that's that is ironically it yeah. just ironically do a never forget cycle. tramp stamp yeah. under it. Like forget yeah. about. Oh it. yeah, with like the silly letters. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, that genuinely offends me. That that those people who are, <laughs> you know, those people jumping out of that building, burning alive that day. That you woman don't was see holding it as her homage, skirt down, and as she died, decapitated on the way down. Why is that such a common? Well, problem? I'm sure some people were. I bet when the initial pop happened, there were people exploded out of the plane and out of like blown out oh. of windows and who knows what. Um, I, I that think initial, that, you know, Frank realized. You know, my message isn't fully getting across. Like, <laughs> yeah. I need. The, I need the, the, what is the message added. exactly here? <laughs> Multifaceted. Yeah, I love we it, should have him and Boogie on the show together. Oh God. Yeah, yeah I'm sure <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> happen. I can't um, even okay, get Boogie like, to come like, on our show now because of fucking his fight with Dick and everybody. No. Boogie won't. Uh, no. He's been on our show a bunch of times. He was What's on just beef? before his boxing match. We, we've we've given Boogie a hard time before, right? but but you know, in, in in good fun, I think. Um, what what did what's the worst thing Dick has done to Boogie? I think the big problem was that when Frank Hassel uh, went to his house, that Dick was uh kind of boosting it and promoting it like hey look at this and fuck boogie or something so i think he's just really and anybody who had frank and they had frank hassel i think on the show to talk about it on his own podcast the dick show so i think yeah. Boogie did not like that my only issue is it being like fuck boogie is an easy position to take publicly everyone cheers for it. exactly yeah. you want to impress yeah. me be pro boogie like that'd be more fun and it's more brave and it's it's your own take I'm yeah. pro boogie. Uh, what do you call you it? I, I actually, I, I talked to that guy sometime. He was in a weird, dark place for a while where I was kind of worried that maybe something was going to happen. But uh, I guess he said he found like a shaman to feed him a bunch of drugs and that made him feel all yeah. better. And I'm like, well, all right, uh, yeah. whatever works, man, get it done. It's good. I like you want like a long-term solution. My favorite yeah. boogie right. moment was when he described like his perfect woman, like his ideal woman, but he didn't really say it like that. He was more like, the question was more like, what kind of lady are you looking for? And then he yeah. laid out like the perfect, <laughs> the perfect sex slave that you could imagine. Basically, <laughs> uh, it, it's Asian not, had some porn experience, small. Yeah. Like, like, like it was, she had to be like, I don't know, five, four, 97 pounds, alabaster skin, brown nipples, not pink. It was like, <laughs> dude, come on, just say but a pretty wait, girl it, who loves me. <laughs> <laughs> was it the twist that he was, he had like a sugar baby that fit that description at the time? So he oh, talked about that a little bit about like the Japanese hua that he had like popping pimples on his back and shit. And I, I, I don't care what he paid her. It wasn't He's going enough. back to me now. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's always been the weird thing about Boogie is like inconsistent branding. Because I remember there was like a there was like a point in time where I was like, oh, he's like the Mr. Rogers in the internet. I'm like, I've never heard Mr. Rogers talk about fucking an Asian whore. <laughs> hey there, kids. I'm gonna take my sneakers off. As you know, I did spend some time in Vietnam. You know, I, was I explored in all, 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 girls. all sorts of avenues and fun new things for myself in, in Vietnam. Do There's, all sorts of there, things. there are things they do there that would blow your mind. The branding. <laughs> wow, I haven't heard it phrased that way, but it's brilliant. Like That is yeah. the problem. I don't think I've ever come as hard as I did in Dai Pong in 1971. There are people who hit YouTube running just with the, like, you know, anti-girl stuff or, like, I'm a horror stuff or, like, whatever they do, they can say anything, and it's fine. It's only when they try to pass themselves off as Mr. Rogers that they get into Yeah, that it's like, you go like, well, dude, I know this isn't really, and I I think that's been the problem is that Boogie got a reputation as, like, a nice guy, Mm -hmm. but then at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, you're like, you know, a perverted old man who wants to fuck a bunch of whores, which is fine, but uh, I don't know, it's hard to, yeah, you can't, you almost got to keep that quiet, I guess, if that's not your plan. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can't be making videos about like, God, I hope everybody treats everybody right and goes to their therapist and I'm like, then I fucked some whores. <laughs> 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 two different guys. <laughs> they should have two different channels. Dark Boogie. Yeah. Oh, that's Honestly, brilliant. Dark Boogie would be good. Yeah. Uh, dark Boogie would be fun. Where he, where he, like Boogie Unleashed. 